Good day guys, this is Practifile and today we are going to have our listening impressions with um uh, let's see what's inside here. This is a tour unit. It's actually from Panera and you might already have seen it from the title and yes this is the Panera Erg. We have this one here, quite a big box, my friends. It's the uh, Kynera Erd. And uh, so, uh, what's in the box? Let's open this up. It should be... Ding, ding, ding. Oh, nice. Look at that. Okay. We have this very big box, some manuals, and then the carrying case. What's inside the carrying case? Very nice. Oh, the cables. Man, these cables feel and look really really good and a lot of ear tips and final e oh okay so i think they have collaborated with final to have this final ear tips interchangeable connectors so these are the ions are there other things inside though oh, okay so yep Ooh, these are the ions you can see that there wow isn't it lovely those shells nice yep Wow, this this is this I have to say these these are really these are really really good looking Really really good look good looking and feels good as well. Okay, this is not the first time listening to the herd I have to say that I the first time I heard the herd was in Japan It was just a very quick impression because when I was in Japan I was you know doing a lot of audition uh, in earphones, so uh, I heard this actually like Mm, a year ago? Yeah, probably about a year ago. I made a very short impression of the herd and my impression was it was very smooth. So I don't know, like now I have graphs, I have a rig, so... Let's see if my impression is still the same with the herd. Um, I remember liking the Eden Golden 2 at that time than the herd because the herd was, you know, it is a little bit expensive. The shells are a little bit bigger too they're in the bigger side so yeah that's it for my introduction and yep the cables man the cables look really really good though they feel really really good chimera really like if you want beautiful ims um chimera is the way to go it's been a long time since i've heard their sets and um quite excited to hear this one out again all right okay yeah fits really nice but i have to say they're very big though they're very bulky my chest tracks are ready let's start with unwell by matchbox 20 oh okay it's quite hard to drive yeah there's some um, there's lushness in 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 the mids area oh man like this yeah this is actually very smooth sounding Okay, let's try let's try playing God. Yeah, I hear some harmonic cut on these. That's why they sound smooth. Oh man, like Kanira really has like a very not bad, but kind of like a different approach when it comes to tonality. Let's try the uh, treble by High Spring by. It actually has good presence. And so far, I, I don't really hear channel imbalance. Female vocals sound yeah. As I've mentioned before, it's lush, very good presence as well. And Canera doesn't seem to focus more around the uh, presence area. They usually have that dip around 4 to 6k. So that's why cymbals don't... I mean, they don't sound fatiguing, but also they lose their presence. So let's try that with Under My Umbrella now. But they sound very organic though, I have to say. Like they sound natural, but a, a little bit far for my preference. Or maybe I'm just used to, you know, forward sounding symbols. Okay, let's try Here Without You by Three Doors Down. What can I say though? Like, tonally, really, it's like, it's a hit and miss for Kanera. There's really nothing wrong with the sound, but just the overall, how do I say it? Like, the overall presentation is, you, you need to you need to get used to it. Let's try Get Lucky to check the bass. It's a, it's a very easy listen, really. Yeah, that's that's what I thought at first. Like the cymbals, just the, just they lack that definition because you know they have those dips in the presence. So that's why they sound far and they seem to not have enough body. But other than that, like the, there's really nothing wrong. But it's I don't know. Maybe I'm harmon pilled already. 
Um, what can I say? So I think I'm done. I'm gonna do a lot of listening sessions with this though. So yeah, to put it simply, it's um it's sub bass over mid bass for the bass. But the tonality is an easy listen. How do I explain it? It's really strange to well tonally. It's yeah. It might not be for my preference, but I can see some people liking this because they're really just non fatiguing. In the upper mids, um, they're not shouty. Symbols, just the symbols, they just lack the harmonics. Like it seems that there's a lot of harmonic cut around the upper mids. So the tonality, I can say it's balanced. It's not neutral. I'd say it's like maybe warm. It's a warm balance set because symbols are almost not really muted. They have they actually have good air. Um, but they lack again, like there, there are a lot of cuts in the upper mids to low treble that make them sound far. So that's, that's what I thought. And then the mids, they're organic sounding, the vocals sound good, they have good presence, but it feels like it gets mixed with in the bass. It, it needs some time for your brain to process where the instruments are. That's what I thought. Apart from the symbols that sound far, but they they good they have good like extension and sparkle, but it's just that there's something missing with them. Um, they almost felt like what like I mean these these have two Sonians uh, ESDs, and I don't yeah I don't know if maybe Sonians are really good at making symbols sound good. That's what I noticed with ESD sets. Like they just have that natural timbre to symbols and the treble maybe they can work on the mids really like making it smoother sounding but all in all they're not offensive uh so to score this one here maybe for tonality i'd give it a two yeah two for tonality bass is bass is fine they're not bad maybe 2.5 mids though i'm gonna give it a two for the mids because i feel like you know the presence area there's something lacking so two treble is actually even if there's harmonic cuts i feel like the timbre on cymbals are natural it's just that the distance really it's not it's yeah it's i don't know this is me so 2.5 and technicalities yeah it didn't really wow me how much are these anyway like 650 maybe around that man there are a lot of competitions actually so technicalities for this prize though i don't know maybe i'm gonna give it two for now so total is 11 actually so 11 b b yeah it's b so generally good you can simply buy them if it matches your preferred tonality i don't know if if i listen to it more it might go to a but for now it's a b yeah, those are my honest impressions, really. Like, I like Chimera for what they're doing for their passion, but sometimes the tonality, it needs some little bit of, you know, like, refinement. But it's not a bad set. For my opinion, it's not a bad set. But it's just that the price, man, like, there are a lot of good sets recently. There's Studio 4 at 400 There's P8, Eiffel Performer 8, at 370 bucks. Just a lot of good offerings recently and usually at this price people tend to look at graphs at face value which is actually not good so i recommend you audition these these might be for you i'm gonna have an in-depth review on this soon so that you can you know assess how they would sound for you but for now uh this is it guys for the chimera urd thank you so much for watching i hope you'd like and subscribe to my channel and um See you for the final review on the Chimera Herd. Bye bye! Oh well, I'm just going to make my final review of the Herd here. And um, yeah, because this is a tour unit and I don't really have much time to write about the Herd. Like, a lot of tour units have been sent to me and it's just hard to keep up with everything. Like, in one week, I have to write like two and in my case, it's you can't force, I cannot force myself to write quality reviews because I just don't have time. I have work and I think a more practical way to is to just make videos of it. So this is the Erd right here. This is priced around 600 I think. I am really forgetful about the price, but this is like over mid-fi, yeah, 650 USD. Um, that's a lot of cash actually. 
And um, I don't know, this has been released last year. I heard it first in earphones and um, I don't know, like the current competition is just so crazy that a lot of sets have been gaining traction and like they're just, just good sounding sets in general. So, um, they, I feel like they're actually very good because they render a very natural sound, very organic sounding really. If you're into that kind of like organic sound, yeah, maybe, and maybe it Earth is for you. Um, it has beautiful shells, it has EST, and I feel like the implementation of the ESTs and the overall feel of it sounds like BQEYZ Winter. And looking at graphs, they actually look similar, like here. And winter is, you know, it, it's, it, it's a DD plus bone conduction, but the overall feeling is like that. Only that, like, symbols and the, yeah, symbols sound more realistic and organic with the Erd. Although the amplitude of, or the sound, or the level is not that high. It's like, it's almost muted, but it's still there. So EST is really give off this kind of you know realistic decay in symbols for me that's just for me probably people might find this dark sounding but as the you know the longer you listen to them you actually feel like you know that you know the, the treble is actually there it's just that it's not that pronounced as other sets like especially Harmon so yeah I think that's about it the bass is also very lush very powerful it's mid bass over no no I'm sorry it's sub bass over mid bass compared to the winter which is like mid bass dominant um, this one here has it is sub bass focused it renders a clean impactful sound Mids are organic and uh, technicalities as I've said it's not a detail monster but it gives you a natural feeling and tone to symbols. Very accurate reproduction, actually. But 650 USD. Now let's talk about some of the comparisons that I have here. That I that I mean I can compare it with other sets, but what I have now, let's just try to compare them. Uh, so first with the um, which one? Yeah, it's also close to the Mega 5P. I have the Mega 5P here. Um, if look at the graph, look at this. It's very close, right? But then the Mega 5P comes at like how much? Or about 200 bucks? 200 to 300? And um, the Mega 5P doesn't have ESTs, but... I feel like the, there is more bass presence on the Mega 5P as well. It's also more balanced sounding. Although the treble on the Mega 5P loses with the ESTs on the Erd, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit forward with the Mega 5P. And when you listen to the Mega 5P and when you listen to the Erd, you cannot, I feel like you cannot justify the price hike with the Erd when you, you can get this at 200 bucks. Uh, not to mention, there is another unit now from the same, co not the same company, but maybe sister company, the Celeste Phoenix Call. The tonality is, it's a little bit different. This is like more into U-shape, leaning into V type of signature, warm also. But man, like Tony or Acros already compared both of these because maybe the, the, they are from the same sister company. But when you listen to them side by side, you definitely, I think you definitely pick the Phoenix call more than the Earth. That's that's just how it is. I mean, like if you're really into like if you're not if you're not looking for details and if you like warm organic sound, maybe the Earth is for you. And if you have the cash, maybe the Earth is for you. And you like the design, the Earth is for you. Packaging is also good for the Earth, but come on, man. Like this one is a like the overall packaging on the Phoenix call is just so so well done in my opinion um other things to compare maybe around the same price range not really around the same but maybe cheaper that i feel like it's more like they also have this natural sound but at the same time good resolution um maybe the studio force it's cheaper it's more inclined to my preference of neutral they also have an organic sound very very natural timbre on vocals and instruments. This is my benchmark for timbre, tonality, and everything. Um, this is cheaper though. Um, although the bass may not please some of the you know bass lovers out there, for me they are just enough actually. Um, everything in the in the frequency just complements each other. The vocals are forward. 
I get natural decay on cymbals as well. Maybe not as realistic sounding as the uh, the Erd, but but it's enough. It's just enough, and it's cheaper. And we have another wow contender, the Afo Performer Eight. Both of these, the Studio Four and the P8, are S rankers for me. Yeah, I also feel nah. Why don't? Why is it here though? Why is the P8 here? I don't know why is it here. But anyhow, <laughs> I don't know what's here. Maybe because of um. Because the signature is very different though, like if you're into like lean sounding, natural sounding instruments and vocals, you also get it with the P8, just white's here, it shouldn't be here actually. But anyhow, the P8 is good, oh, plugging in, <laughs> I think that's it, what can I say? The Erd is a niche product, like unless you like the shells, unless you like, unless you addition them yourselves, Give it a try. I highly suggest you audition them. Um, other than that, if you want safer... If you want safer tuning, safer sound, and you're in a budget, I suggest the Phoenix Call. If you are... If you have like 200 bucks, maybe the Mega 5P. If you have more, then maybe the Studio Force. 500 to 800 dollars is a lot of composition. There's so many IMs right there. And I haven't heard of like the recent ones. It's 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 a hard. I don't know. Maybe it's a hard market. Personally, personally, like if not talking about price, the Erd. I like the Erd. I, I can listen to this all day. But for like grab score, like I have a grab score here. Maybe I'd give this. Um, can be part of my irritation? I don't think so. Maybe a one. I grab them if I remember. And for the overall score, six hundred fifty. I think it's it's a. I think it's B plus for me. Yeah, around B. You really need to audition this set. I mean, as much as much as I like how the um, Chimera, like the, their mission and vision of their company is, the the Chai Far market is just too saturated that companies really need to step up in their pricing, packaging. I mean, packaging. There's no problem with with Kinera. It's just really the tuning. It's not palatable to most audio files out there. Um, although for musicians' perspective, this is a really good set. But 650, man. Like, as I've mentioned, yeah, maybe the Aful is here because the price to perform 370 dollars, and you get this kind of sound. Almost half the price of these, although tonally different. But you get what I mean, like that's the chai fi market right now. It's like getting lesser and lesser in price and you get very good sound that is like you'd be hard pressed to buy a TOTL, a 1000 bucks IEM. This is a market breaker, okay that's why it's here because for the price it just offers so much if it matches your preference. Yes, yeah, that's it for my review guys and thanks so much for watching and yep This is the end of my review for the Chimera Erd. Like my video subscribe. Bye. Bye